Hey guys, it's Shay Love, and this is Pre Season 3, Episode 24, the finale of Season 3, which I cannot wait for Season 4 because I know from people I follow on Facebook that this Season 4 is going to be a game changer. And also, I cannot wait to figure out who's really in the red coat. Is it Ellie? Is it not? This season finale answered questions and gave you questions in your head on whether or not things, some things happened, some things didn't happen. So, yeah, let's get started on this review. It starts off with the um, summary of the whole, basically the whole season of 3, I think 3D. And the girls are at Spencer's house waiting for Spencer to come down the stairs. They talk a little bit. They talk about when she was in Radley and whatever. Um, she comes downstairs and uh, talk about how she feels about Hope and how she lost to- how they lost Toby a long time ago. And then Spencer brings up the whole incident that happened with Emily back when the guy that she shot. I can't think of his name at the moment, but and then she told Emily that she wasn't strong enough, like. Emily was. And um, and then Emily asked what changed and she said that she decided not to be a victim anymore. And then she gave invitations to this party at large at some lodge that her parents were hosting, which I think Melissa probably gave the plan to her parents to host. Because if you if you notice in the season finale, where the fuck was her parents at? Where was her parents? Then again, where was Melissa too? Um, let's see. Back in the where where Mona and I guess I'm guessing it was Spencer in the where. They were hacking, getting Jen. I think they were giving Jenna's number. At least I wasn't too sure whether it was Toby again or it was Mona. I mean, Spencer that Mona was talking to in the lair. Um, but they'll be at. They were gonna be at Spencer's party. They basically was waiting for all the girls to be there. Um, the girls are talking to about to Aria about what happened with Malcolm when he got kidnapped and was with the carnival with A. AKA Spencer. I was like, you can't put two of the two together. If it was Mona, wouldn't she be a little shorter? I'm just saying, ain't like Mona about the same height as Aria, Aria, Aria a little taller than Spencer. I mean, Mona. Hannah automatically suspects it's Mona. And Spencer was like, no, it's a little bold for Mona to be doing. And that the person who person who did it wanted to get caught. It was desperate to get caught and all this other stuff. Um, let me see. Hannah takes up child. Hannah goes and takes up the babysitting job. I think most likely the Ezra posted. Um, Sean is at the school for practice for the swim meet that's supposed to be happening. So I that's supposed to be happening, and she finally meets Spencer. And Aria and Ezra talk about the whole job interview and whether or not he's going to take the job or not. And then it seems a little awkward since they're both trying to figure out what's going on in their relationship. If they have a relationship. The last time I checked, they did break up, but it didn't seem like that in this episode for some reason. Jenna's talking to somebody on the phone. She gets a text from A, which most likely I think was either Spencer. And she gets this text saying to meet her somewhere. Or whatever. Arnie tells her dog, dad, dog. Okay, dog. Arnie talks to her father about. Ezra getting his job and that 
at the school, and she was kind of shocked to hear about it. Not the fact that she knew that they was talking about getting a job at the school, that he wasn't going to take it, but the fact that he might, and that, that her parents didn't want to, like, get her involved in the whole thing. So if y'all, like, if, basically he was saying, like, if y'all are together, it's not going to work. Goddamn. Yes, um, if you're having to hear the noise in the background, that's not, that's, if you notice, it's not me, I'm the only one in the house. It's upstairs where my cousins live, and I swear they have clothes for feet. And so, boys, Hannah talks to Ezra about the babysitting job, which he seems a little iffy about hiring Hannah, only because of the stuff she says and this looked awkward from the whole conversation. Jenna meets up with Shauna, which shocked the hell out of me. I'm like, where the hell did she go? What is going on with them two? Are they together? Are they not together? Get out my face, Matt. Um, what? And then Ezra meets up with Aria. They talk about the job offer, and like basically why they you mention it. And then she told him to take the job, and then they had to say goodbye, and then they say they love each other, and she walks off once again. <laughs> oh, buddy. Spencer is looking at pictures of Jenna, and then Toby comes into the diner. Toby talks... Toby talks to who he thinks he's talking to, either he's talking to Mona or he thinks he's talking to another person that's in the eighteen. And he realizes a Spencer and he's like, well, like he just seen a damn ghost. But he basically told Spencer that he joined the eighteen to protect her, not to hurt her, not to. And she is like, She's kind of iffy about whether to trust him or not. And then I know he laughed and told her to follow if he wanted, because it's not safe. And basically, he was like, just to talk to her. And then, before all that, Spencer told Toby that Mona was the one that told him to lie, told her that he was alive, and that he meets at this diner, and all some other stuff. Hannah, Hannah is a very slick chick. She plays this game with Malcolm, the guest who showed everybody's picture except for Emily and I think Spencer and Allie at the time. Um, Melissa is at Jen's house, they're talking, and then Shauna shows up, and I'm like, what the hell is going on between all three of them? Like, what are they doing? Why are they all in cahoots with each other? Like, what the fuck? Um, Emily found all that out, and then I know it pans to Hannah and Malcolm, and Malcolm basically shows, shows Allie and Spencer's picture, which we find out that Spencer sent to Hannah for a reason. And Malcolm was like, oh, the one in the blue shirt is the one who took me to the carnival. And before all that, the, Toby's at the hotel with Spencer. And Spencer was like, basically, how would you trust somebody if you went through what I went through? Basically, if you hurt, like you see me hurt. And that's when Toby got into tears and you know, kissing and all that other stuff. Um, it pans off to Emily and Hannah both telling Arya about both situations, and Arya's like, Riley's starting to look good right, right about now. And as I've, as I've seen, I'm surprised all four of them were not in that damn place. The way things were going. Um, So while they were talking, somebody was spying on them, and 
Hannah got wise and decided to turn music on. She was like, wait, if you want to be inspired on now, if you want to be inspired on now, what thinks you, you're not? So she turns the music, they finish talking, and Arya, as well sees Arya, and then they talk about the whole job. He told, he told Arya that he took the job, and then they talk about their relationship, and then they kiss for the last time, and then Spencer, she sees the red coat, gets lost with everybody wearing the red coat, and then she follows the red coat again to the bathroom, and it was Hannah this time in the red coat. Basically, the girls teamed up to see if Spencer is really part of the A-team, or is she just being double agent. And then they talk about Toby, and they talk about the red coat, and how they plan to stop the red coat, I guess, or figure out who, who the hell she is. As was their teacher again, the girls leave. Toby recorded them getting ready. Mona's talking to Spen Mona was talking to the girl, the red coat girl, on the phone. And Spencer was like, oh, the girls are coming, but oh, her mom doesn't believe them. So basically, it's like, oh, she's going to go handle it. Like, Spencer and Mona need to go take a walk. And that's when Tommy told me, oh, right. Toby volunteered and said, I'll do it. And as they do in this damn show, she, she acted like she was shocked and that she was like, oh, I trusted you, this and that. Whatever, they walked away, and Toby was like, if all things fail, go with the plan. Mona, Mona is about to leave, Hannah stops her, then Emily, and then Arya show up, and Mona was like, y'all don't know what's going on, it's blah, 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 this and that, and either the red coat told somebody to, oh, disrespectful, if Renko, I think the Renko probably either told somebody to lock up the lodge because she thinks all four girls was in there, but Mona was still there to burn up the place. And somehow Toby ends up getting framed because he follows this girl who has a flashlight who I think, who I thought it was Jenna. I think it was Jenna. I don't know who the hell framed him. Either way, he got his ass knocked out. Okay, and I know Spencer follows the red coat in the woods for a little bit when she got to the plane, and then she lost off a little bit, and then she happens to see the flames at the house. And, let's see. All the girls get dragged out the burning house, and Hannah opens her eyes just for a little bit and happens to see Allie in the red coat. She might have been hallucinating. She might have been there. Who the hell knows? Either way, as far as they know, they think Allie, Hannah, Mona, and Spencer both think that Allie's the girl in the red coat. Until we find out officially from the people in the show, we don't know. All right, so we think it might be Allie's twin. Who the hell knows? If they're going by the book. If they are. Um, let's see. They talk to Mona in the car. Emily asks about the night that she got drugged. And Mona said that she was at the um, event, but she doesn't know who drugged you. And she did see the red. She was with the red coat. Emily pulls up to a house where they see Wilden's car. And Wilden, Wilden, yeah, Wilden's car, Wilden was there. They look at the video that was being played in the car, and it was basically that incident. And Jenna and Melissa, no, Jenna and Shauna were there that helped Wilden get out the car. 